to building a POS system for your small business. I am Timothy Hayde and will be your host and this is done for Clean Air Vapors and cleanairvapors.com. I'm using FileMaker 14 Pro Advanced and this is an extended series of videos to help with small business owners cope with the overwhelming cost of digital sales recording and accounting. Uh, we have no we have yet to actually create a place where we can as managers get into our back office so let's let's do a very quick uh, back office so let's let, we'll create a layout we're gonna use the launch page because it happens to be my favorite page for that we're gonna edit it we're going to call it the back office and we want it to have the um, want it to be related to the back office and the reason why we don't use the open button is because it will just duply it will just open the window on top of this window and so we don't really want to do that we don't want to slow down so we just close that out we'll go here and we'll have our new layout which will be back office and the good thing is is here we can if you want to you can double click on this and you could just say back office if you want to we can leave the buttons the way that they are we can just get rid of these buttons should you want to but you don't necessarily need to and so here we have the admin and the back office and the time clock and the inventory and this button we can tell it that we want to do a single step and we want it to go to layout and the layout that we want to it for it to go to is either the inventory mod uh, modifier which is what we really want it to do or we could go to the other sector but for now let's just go with that and we know that this is the back office and um, I'm going to go ahead and click on this I'm going to click off of it and I'm going to call this back office manage management and so there we are we're good to go with that um, and it's still developed by your name and we can move these little buttons anywhere that we want to. Let's just put them up there. This back office portal is just that. It's just a portal and what we basically do with it is we use it um, to get to other places. So um, an admin could use it. You can go back to the back office. You can look at time clocks. You can look at the inventory. And uh, a lot of times that is exactly what they are. There's just a bunch of buttons. So what we can do is grab all of these cute little demons. We can make them a little bit bigger. We can center them. And we can duplicate them. And now what that does is that allows us to um, can just go in and frankly just delete all of these for now. I think they're all of them except for the inventory one is actually blank. See this one is single step, change the cursor over hand. This one we want it to do nothing and we just get rid of that. Now what we have actually created is we've created a, a, a launch page basically is what you've is what this is. So we've created a launch page that our managers can get into and um, then that will direct them to wherever we want them to go. Uh, so official use only management 
portal for authorized use only. Every now and then I really like to create uh, some really funny things um, and put them in my system. But we obviously want this to look as professional as possible. So we're just going to say official use only management portal for authorized use only. And we can add uh, we can add security buttons and all kinds of other things in into the back office should we need to. But for the most part, this is not a system that administrators will use. You can recreate this page. Now that we have it, you can recreate this page. And how you do that is you just basically go to layouts and you select the back office one. You duplicate it. You edit it. And we're going to say admin... portal and we will call that good now what this admin portal is is it's identical to this one as you just saw we just created it we'll go there and here we will select this We'll name it so that we know what it is. <clears throat> In the admin portal, you're going to need even more of these. I guarantee it. So we'll just go ahead and set that up with six of them, or um, three rows of four. <clears throat> In the admin portal, um, what you the difference between um, the admin portal and the management um, section or the back office section is that your back office section is going to lead you to um, primary layout pages where you have the um, the when you when you go into here and you you turn things off in browse mode so those will be regulated to the effect that you won't um, that particular thing we do want in browse mode but um, what that does is it, it just basically means that you're you're allowing a manager to go in and make certain changes but you don't want all of those you don't want that person to basically make radical changes you can't do that because you don't want to lose all of your information so w what we can do now is we can because we have the admin portal if we go to right here so from here, we can create a security box and an admin section. So if we exit this and we were to put data in here, one, two, three, four, press the admin button, guess what? It does absolutely nothing. So what we need to do is we need to create a script for that. And so we're going to double click on this. We're gonna tell it to perform a script we're going to create a new script, and the new script we are going to call um, passcode. Let's call it uh, passcode underscore admin. So, the very first thing we want it to do is we want it to um, we want it to look at the field that is right next to us. So how do we we do that? Well, what we do is we create an if statement. So if we'll click off, we'll go if, and this is in the wrong place. We need it to be register. So if the security box is equal to let's do one two three four 
then we will go to a specific layout. So we will go to layout admin portal. And if. But what we want it to do is before it goes to that layout, we want it to clear the um, we want it to clear the security box. So if the register security box is equal to one, two, three, four, then we need to clear the layout. So we'll go here and we will um, actually let's just click off of this. We'll just set the field and the target field will be the on the your register. It'll be your security box. You'll specify that you just want it to um, empty it. So we're going to put that in there because if you go to the layout first, if you go to this layout, well, it's going to go to the layout, and then there's there's not going to be a security box there for it to empty. So we want it to empty it before you go to the layout, and then end if. Now, if we're going to just go ahead and do another if if. The, um, the register security box is not equal to one, two, three, four. Then what we want to do is we want to um, perform a custom uh, show custom dialog. But before we do that, before we do the custom dialog, and, and I just grabbed it and moved it up, we want to set the field right. So set field and the target field would be you get a lot of this having to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So um, we're going to just set the field at zero again. And so if the register security box is not equal to one, two, three, four, we'll set the field register security box to zero and then we're going to show a custom dialog and the custom dialog we're going to have a title and it's going to be um, we're going to call it security protocol and we're going to tell the person warning this um, Portal is for official use only. Um, is the warning? This portal is for official use only. Use by unauthorized. <laughs> Gosh, I can't even spell unauthorized. I think my fingers are just trying. Uh, use by unauthorized persons. Let's just say is prohibited and may result in termination. Termination. Warning. This. Portal is for official use only, use by unauthorized, and you know what we should do is we should we should just do this, we should use the caps lock. Use by unauthorized persons is prohibited and may result in, and let's even make it worse, let's do immediate get rid of the caps lock may result in immediate termination we don't need to say cancel so we'll call that good and we will go there and then what we'll do is um, We're going to want to, this is one of those where we're going to actually want to halt the script. So 
So if it is, if, if this is correct, then we'll halt the script. So control S to save it, we'll call it good. We'll say, okay, change to handover cursor. And now let's exit the layout and let's do one, two, three, three. Admin. This operation could not be completed because the target is not part of a related field. What? Warning, this portal is for official use only. Use by unauthorized person is prohibited and may result in immediate termination. So, Because, well, let's find out if I just made a screw up or whatever. This is the security box for inventory security box. So that's very possibly why I am screwing this up is because I am using the wrong one. I'm using the register security box and I really needed to be using the inventory. Security box. So here register security box. Um, This should be do 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 do. Let's just erase that. So inventory, which is where we are. Security box. If it is not equal to that, and then here, you see, if you click on the dang thing, what happens? It kind of messes everything up. So here, inventory security box. It's kind of interesting because I should have known that that it was the that particular one inventory security box admin portal back office okay so that should do it it's amazing how when you mess something up how um, how easy it is to do that so now if we go there ding there it goes it works just like beautiful <laughs> go back to inventory and then there it is look at that <laughs> and and it cleaned it out so let's let's do one three four five two and see what happens and says, warning, this portal is for official, for official use only. Use by authorized personnel is prohibited and may result in immediate termination. So uh, we did that. So we, we now made that work. And so now you know um, what the admin button does. So if you basically add the correct number that you've programmed in, and the cool thing is you can change those at any time, and you click it, there you go, you are right where you need to be. So if we now come here and we did a new record, we would be able to make changes to things and uh, create minimums and all those other neat things. So now we actually have this correct for the hot dog. So if we came in here and we said 15 and 13, it will automatically add all that stuff together and put it all in the right place and the plain hot dogs we want um, 15 and 15 and uh, in our next video I will show you how to uh, fix that issue which is um, for the minimums and the restocks until next time I hope you enjoyed this I hope you've had at least a little of comedy because I seem to be very funny in a lot of the things that I'm doing I, I don't know why my brain is lost probably because I'm doing a lot of other things all at the same time, but I am glad to have you and I hope that you will uh, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. If you have any questions, write them in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Thanks for watching and until next time, have fun and be good. This concludes the current video and I hope that you'll watch all of the videos. Thank you for watching. This is the end of this video, and it's brought to you by Clean Air Vapors.